it's a little weird at times. And that's from somebody who was actually following the story <laughs> as best he could. <laughs> if that tells you anything. There's a car in my lake. Yeah, true rooster. Um, not not to again. Let's let's not spoil anything in DD. There's a lot of people that haven't played DD two yet and they want to. So let's let's not spoil the story. But what I will say, last thing I'll say about it, is that uh, the end of DD two actually got me very excited for future DD content, specifically to what that gentleman mentioned a second ago. <laughs> true rooster. Yeah, I, I think I think there's a lot of very cool unexplored stuff there that I hope they explore in expansions and such. To be blunt, one of the best parts of Dragon's Dogma 1 was the expansion. So I, I kind of hope they put as much energy and care into the DD2 expansion, whatever that may be. Uh, I think it deserves it, for sure. I can't move this. There we go. What are you stuck on here? You're stuck on something. There we go. Boom. Perfect. Am I doing a base build? Uh, not really. I just need a little bit more room and I don't just want to keep expanding horizontally. So I'm, uh, gonna, gonna build a little, a little elevated house. Kind of see what we want to do with it from there. Nothing, nothing major. Just, 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 a, just a little build, chat. Just a little build. Nothing major. You know. See, I can't even I can't even see which direction this is. I'm moving I'm literally moving the scroll wheel. <laughs> I can I I I'm incapable of seeing what direction those were. All right, there we go. They really need arrows on this stuff. You wouldn't you wouldn't know it, but I'm actually going between two different things right now. There we go. Okay. All right. And an, am I out of wood? Why can't I build here? Eh? That stuff shouldn't be too tall. Well, there we go. Great. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine for now. We can actually go out a little bit this way, I think. Can't we? No? I thought you could kind of go over a little bit. Maybe not. Did they change that? too bad. Stone door frame. Okay, we're gonna put this on pause for now. I definitely want to do some stone stuff. I'm gonna pause this for a sec. Hey, Julia, what's up? What you doing, Julia? Wait, hey, Julia, what are your goals in this game right now? What are you working on? Out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Got some elixirs, nice. Let's go ahead and pop those on our bar. Yep, awesome. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. Let's see here. What do we need to do? We need to go get a bunch more stuff. We need more stuff. Mm -hmm. 
that. Do we have any more here? Oh. 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 Hold up. Hold the phone. I'll get. I can't do T4, can I? No. That that might be a bit much. Thank you, Dimitri. <clears throat> Appreciate that, buddy. Okay. Equip as secondary weapon. Dude, there we go. Okay. Our first purple weapon. Hell yeah. Bam. Oh, of seven? Oh, my. Uh... That's a lot. <laughs> Jeez. Who told me there's going to be of seven? We call the charcoal. We're going to see if we can get it all the way up, but. No, growing and planting is still broken. I got stuff on the top of my house, and it's nice and sunny out and saying there's no sun. Uh, do me a favor. Move those plots onto the ground like like off of a building structure and can you tell me if you still get that error i saw somebody uh talking in global chat earlier saying that they had to move all of their farming onto actual ground and i'm wondering if that makes sense. hey vax cool great tip Co, I restructured this world house a bit, but unlocked Eternal Land, so I'm gonna build there, but I don't think I'll play much today. I feel super tired. Oh, right on, Julia. Well, um, Julia, do me a favor. When your Eternal Land is uh, to a point where you're ready, I'd love to visit it and see your build. Doesn't have to be anytime soon. We'll be playing this a few days, at least. I got, I got goals. Mm. Oh, interesting. Hold on. My plants are on my deck's second floor. No issues. Plenty of sun. Ash and trap. Same. All my planter boxes have sun and water and are growing just fine. Oh, weird. Okay. So it looks like it. there may be some inconsistency here. So we'll, we'll still try the planter boxes to see if they work for us. I need to make a composter. I don't have a composter, so I'm not making compost, and that's causing all sorts of issues. Um, I'm going to beg the devs for a snapping system. Like, straight up Japanese style on my knees. Like, please. Please, snapping system. Please. I need it for my big builds. Please give. Messidian, how are you? Let's put all that in there. Put all that in there. Oh. Nope. Vanadium in. Put this in here. Vanadium in there. Perfect. Great. Okay. So this is all still cooking along. Level 21. Nice. 99 going there. Okay, so we just need like seven more and we can do this one more time, but we need to do it two more times. Yo, I got a ton of, oh, we're, we got to do the Starcrom thing again. Of course, I'm going to spend all these resources doing this specifically. And then the second I go back and do that other thing, it's going to give me a better blueprint and I'm going to, I'm going to feel terrible. <laughs> Are you going to pick up Stellar Blade today? Uh, you, you mean the demo? I don't think Stellar Blade is out today. I'm planning on, on checking out the demo eventually, but I don't know when. Wow. It just keeps going up. <laughs> Jeez. Hell yeah, dude. This thing is going to do so much damage. Oh my god. It. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Um, let's put you away. You away. And you away. So you. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to let all this sit for a while, and we need a lot more. We need to get a power generator, uh, which I'd like to do in solar panels. So we're gonna wait for that, and then we need to do, um, we need to get a composter going as well. That'd be another thing. Many things, chat. Many things. Let's put that in there. So we need to just go. We could probably just do main quest for a little bit. I think. Because the biggest thing we need right now is just more ciphers and memetics and stuff, so we have a decent weapon. Let's make it happen. Our PAX Day and Dune Awakening worked into Ko's schedule. Yes! I am planning on playing both PAX Day and Dune Awakening. They are, they are on the list. Uh, two, the weapon. Accessory. We have no muzzles. We do have an optic, but I don't think I want that optic, to be honest. Unfortunately, we do have a good mag. Put that on. And we have a front tactical grip. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. A little better there. Okay. <clears throat> Looking good. There are 69 codes available left for this game. This game's alpha on the token store. Nice. Uh, okay, so let's head up this way, and then I think we're going to go over here. Bell. Sir. <laughs> we have found a serial bomber chat. Uh, okay, let's go... Oh, no, I didn't get the thing here. All right, we got to get that first. I didn't get the teleportation tower. I'm, I'm assuming there's one up there, but let's go up and look. Norby! Thank you so much. What's my opinion of this game? So I'm going to be making a new thoughts video uh, probably in a couple days, maybe even tomorrow. But until then, I have an old thoughts video up, and most of that applies. Pretty much everything in this beta is better than when I played last time. So if you watch my first thoughts video... Uh, you'll get all the info of, like, the general stuff. And then I'll be making a new one in the next couple days. It talks about this beta specifically. What is that? Is it just a red light in a room? Oh, it's a red porch light. I like it. Hey, this guy's house is pretty cool. Take a look. Damn, look at this. It's got a little, like, nice little bedroom action going on in there. A little computer room. He even framed a picture. He framed the picture he took at the beginning of the game. It's adorable. Got nice little benches in here. Got some nice little railing stuff going on. Oh, working on a little dining room up here and a little piano in the corner. Oh, I love it, dude. Can we go any higher? Man, what's in the attic? Built an attic. I don't think it's done yet, but we can go on the roof. Oh, nice. Nice. This guy's on point, man. Love to see it. Yeah. 21 ones, Max. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you. You can build in this game? Oh, there. Yes. What is that thing? Oh, it's the it's this little guy. Can you get them as a deviation? No. Oh, this guy built a garage. Ooh. Looks good, man. This does not look good, man. No, this looks terrible. Um, gotta work on that a little bit. Get the floor up here. That's a little weird, but we'll take it. Okay. Mm. 
yep, just like most gamers, poor cable management. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we're heading up here towards this guy. I think there's a teleportation thing we can get there, which we're definitely going to want to get. Do, 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 do. do you run faster with your weapon away? I don't think so. That seems, seems pretty standard both ways. If you do run faster with your weapon away, it is negligible. Yeah. How's this gun doing? Gun's doing all right. Queen in the North with the three years. Thank you so much, Queen in the North. Appreciate you, friendo. Three years of support. Dude, that electrical power thing is doing work. Wow. This thing is hitting like a truck. Imagine PvP in this game. There is PvP in this game. There's going to be entire PvP servers if that's your thing. There's also opt-in PvP on the PvE servers, so people like me can have fun running around doing whatever we want, and then we can opt into PvP and go have fun in that if you want to. Which is pretty cool. It's kind of like Defiance, if you remember that game. They don't, they, I don't believe they have the queued up PvP instances yet. They do have, like, uh, Overland PvP events, and there's, there's Warband things, and, yeah, opportunities to PvP. I hope they add in freaking, uh, I, I really want to see like PVP scenarios, little, uh, basically I just want them to copy the appliance system. <laughs> if they just copy that, I'll be happy, which is essentially like standard MMO stuff. You know, you're running out in the world, you click PVP, you click Q, and then whenever the queue's up, you get a little message, warp in, do some, some opt-in PVP a little arena or something. And uh, then when you're done, you pop back up in the game world. That'd be amazing. I'd love it. Uh, token store doesn't show a key for me. After you buy a token, go to the My Purchases area. Or excuse me, after you purchase any key. If you just go to My Purchases, you should see your key in there. Is this a division knockoff? Division wishes. Defiance was the first game I watched co-play. That was the first game I streamed. Nice. If I played Fallout 76, I have I have hundreds of hours in Fallout 76 across multiple different playthroughs. Mm -hmm. Can you access the token store on mobile? I think so. Barry, can we token store on mobile? Is that a thing yet? I know we, we talked about that, but I don't know if it actually made it in. I think you can. But if not, we'll work on it. Yes, you can. Perfect. And a lot of people in chat are saying they did it on the mobile app. There you go. Yeah, the mobile app not only gets you notifications on my streams, but now you can customize your notifications. You can apparently access the token store and buy your game keys. And you can set up your Kovatar now on mobile. So if you ever want to make a little Kovatar, which is one of these things, whenever I click on someone's name, boop, that's Nettie Ain's little Kovatar on the right-hand side. She picked that Kovatar from 700 different custom cosmetics that we had made just for this channel. <laughs> Pretty cool. So uh, we also have drops. So like we did a Dragon's Dogma 2 cosmetic set. We did a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, set. We got all sorts of stuff. So it's super cool. And if you guys want to check them out, uh, please feel free. It's totally free, obviously. There's there's no monetization of any kind with the system, and no plans to. Just made it because it's fun. Uh, oh. Is 
Is that Julia work? Yes, the Kovatars are a collaborative effort between um, Barry Carlion, who made the back end systems, uh, Julia, who made the majority of the art, and uh, hey, Tri helped a little bit as well. From our channel Care for a bit of fishing. I know all <laughs> all of the ninety nine percent of the Kovatar artwork is Julia. She is she is our she is the Kovatar project manager for art. <laughs> Okay. Go over here. See if we can get some of these before they're gone. Where is the Twitch overlay to show people's Kovatars in chat? So, funny you asked that. Now that we have Kovatars working on mobile, one of the things we're going to be doing in the future is making it so you can pull up Twitch chat on your mobile phone, and it will look... Like that. This is Kovatar chat. So every single Kovatar you see next to a person's name there is their custom Kovatar they made to represent themselves. So what we're going to do eventually is make it so you can bring this chat up on your own and you can see everyone else's Kovatar in the community and stuff. Now, I, this is also a good point to, to, a good time to point out the Kovatar system is a foundational system for other things we have planned in the channel. This system has been being designed for years, and we just implemented it this February of this year. And now that it's in and we're working on it, we'll have some very other fun things in the future that I can't wait to talk to you about more, but they're not quite ready to be talked about. So, um, but yeah, it's going to be really cool. And uh, definitely should check it out if you like little stuff like that. And if you don't, that's fine. They're totally optional for the record. You can just ignore the whole thing. It's fine. <laughs> you will lose out on nothing by not making one. Okay. Just optional fun. It's a little late for NFTs. Oh, there's, there's the, the Kovatars are not monetized, and they're not even set up in a way to be monetized. We, we decided very early that the only monetization the Kovatars will ever see is if we do like a... If we're doing a charity for the American Heart Association and a $10 charity donation gets you a little AHA pin you can put on your Kovatar. We might do something like that in the future. Full disclosure. But I think that's the only thing we would do. I, I don't I don't foresee any other type of anything, really. Yeah. Oh, the only other small form of monetization that may bleed into Kovatars is we may give you the ability to show your latest sub badge as a badge on your chest. And I guess technically you do pay for your sub. Good show. So, you know, that's full disclosure, that might happen. Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> that way, like, the 10 year subs could have, like, the sunflower badge and, you know, stuff like that, which I think would be really cool. Hey, Red Mask with a 25 bomb! Dude, thank you. 25 bomb. Really appreciate it. Hey, Co, why did Barry charge me 20 bucks? Dude, that's between you and Barry. Don't look at me. Uh, over, dude, South Branch Renuous. Just yesterday, I think Julia sent me a message and was like, we don't have a fishing pole. And I was like, well, clearly we need an update. Yep. We need to get a whole angler suit on there. How does fishing work in this game? Poorly, because the system's like half implemented. Um, but you can kind of see where the fishing system is going and it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. And more importantly, the fishing system, believe it or not, actually made great strides from beta two to beta three. So eventually what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to cast where you want. And then the bottom right, there are those two little bars and the bars are gonna help you eventually <laughs> know how to fish properly. But right now the bars are pretty much meaningless. And um, like, the, again, the, the, the pieces are there, but they're not really kind of like implemented yet. So at least not in a way I understand, that's intuitive. Um, but yeah, the, the short of it for fishing is you cast in, the first part of the mini game is clicking when that thing in the middle goes off. And what I've been doing, which seems to work, is right when you start catching the fish, it will go a direction. 
it will usually pull left or right. And if you look the other direction and just hold down the mouse, nine times out of 10, you'll ca catch the fish. The top bar is how far the fish is from you and the bottom bar is your line tension. But the weird thing is, is there seems to be this, most fish have this, um, like a stamina and they will be getting closer to you slowly but your tension will be going like just about to break. And then the fish will like lose his stamina bar. Your tension bar will start going up and he'll start being drawn in. And that works for like 90% of fish, but every so often there's like a fish that that doesn't work on. And I don't really know how to deal with that. But yeah, that's where we are with fishing. This, I'm guessing this system will be pretty cool. It, it made a huge amount of progress since last beta, but right now it's still just a little beta. Why not just shoot the fish? That's a great question. I can't answer that with any answer that would be satisfactory to you. Oh, see, that time I was facing the wrong way. Oh, look, see, if you look in the bottom right, the fish ran out of stamina. That's what happened there. Both bars were empty, but before the line broke, he ran out of stamina and they both started going up. But if that fish, for instance, had not done that, <laughs> if the fish had not run out of stamina, then my line would have snapped. All right, let's see here. This is also a fishing event. Whenever you see these on the map, you can just warp to them. You don't even need to run to them. You can just warp right to them. And um, you get a bunch of rare, cool fish here. You can see a bunch of other people are fishing too. During the event. The event timer is in the top left though, so you don't have a lot of time. Honestly, they should take the entire last animation out of the game. The second you get your fish, it should just go in your inventory. And if you want to release it, just just drop it from your inventory. There's there's no reason to have like a whole animation of holding up the fish and stuff like that. Like you should just be able to zip right through that. Maybe it's the kind of thing where the animation should still be there because some people might want to see their fish get held up, but you should be able to skip it. There's way too many like animation locks in the fishing system. Do I have bait? Oh, there we go, dang. Oh Lord. Is this a big one? Oh, I think we're gonna snap chat. I think we're gonna snap. Yep, we snap. So that, that fish, I think what we were supposed to do was maybe, I don't know if we're supposed to look at it and keep reeling or let go of the reel and look at it or let go of the reel and look away. Like that's that's where I'm, that's where the, the confusion in the system comes in. I'm not sure how to react to those fish. I've tried a bunch of things, but nothing has really seemed to work. I Like I've let go of the mouse when the line tension is low, but it just keeps going and then breaks. So it's kind of like if, if releasing the line doesn't reduce, reduce the tension, if looking at it doesn't reduce the tension and releasing it, then what are you supposed to do? Got that guy, no problem. That's Dabo TV, we do have a few codes left on our token store if you have enough tokens. I think we have, we have under 30 codes left. Good luck. Okay, Julia. If the top bar goes down even slightly, pull the opposite side the most you can turn. If the bar moves ahead, keep it pulled on that side. Okay, and what, what do you do if it doesn't go ahead, Julia? Some fish are easy. Is there a way you can purchase three to four more beta keys? Not from us, no. 
Uh, from us, it is a it is a one key per person. Yeah. You can go to the Once Human Discord, and they do giveaways on there every so often. Uh, you can fill out a survey on the Once Human Discord, and every day they give give out keys. I think they're still doing that, but they also said they were having problems with that system. I don't know if giving the, the keys to the creators was like in lieu of that system. But no, you can't buy into the beta. There's no there's no purchase as far as I know. Got him. Electric eel. We got another one. Aaron M giving away a chonk coaster. Good luck, everybody. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, so the system has been fixed. Great. So that's from a dev adjacent individual, our friend Guardian Angels there. So if you if you fill out the survey then you will be entered to potentially get one of the thousands of keys they're giving away every day. So if you don't win a giveaway here and you don't have enough tokens to get a key, make sure to go to their Discord, fill out that survey, and then uh, hopefully you'll get one that way. Hope this game releases soon. This game is releasing in Q3 of this year currently, but I think they are a when it's done company so that, you know, they're shooting for Q3. Mm. Speaking, uh, uh, speaking um, of when it's done companies, Emberville Early Access Q4 at the earliest of this year. <laughs> now, that being said, I wanted to say that first, um, but we uh, were shooting for Q... We were shooting for Q3, but now we're shooting for Q4, and we're doing that because, again, we want to when it's ready yet. We, we, we're not going to rush anything. And, uh, however, that being said, um, Emberville updates should be starting on May 1st. So right, again, we're not gonna rush it, but we do tentatively plan, we have planned a pretty major update for May 1st. Um, Applause, so if you are if you are please. following the game project that I am a, an executive producer of, Emberville, then uh, we should have more information for you soon. Looking forward to showing you. Because it's been making a lot of really cool progress. 